Hello, welcome back to Lloyd and JD. It's too many topics. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. Today we're talking about dragons. April Fool's dragons. Yeah. Which I thought was real. Damn it. So Iceland trolled the world with their dragon video saying that they found the skeletal remains of a dragon in northern Iceland. Which wasn't that far-fetched for you. No, it's it's not that far-fetched. I mean, we, we've had things that have existed throughout time, such as pterodons. And in every history story, too, there's dragons. Yeah. Chinese to medieval European to, you know, wherever you are in the world, they have their own stories about dragons. Yeah. Whether they breathe fire or don't breathe fire or whatever, they still have. They all fly. They're all massive. They're all big serpent looking. Yeah, things, so. they're all, you know, scaly. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that at a point in time, there were pterodons, which would ma which are massive looking beasts. A wingspan of up to like 10, 20 feet, yeah. some of them. So, I mean, ultimately, is it that far-fetched that there is a scaly existing thing or finding the remains of it that it used to exist? Probably not that far-fetched, but unfortunately, in this case... It was fake. They they indicated it was their April Fool's joke on the world and... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's not even that funny. <laughs> but it is. Just goes to show they live in Iceland. Yeah. The sense of humor is way off. Yeah. Frozen. Yeah. Well, they're probably just happy they trolled the world. <laughs> great you could well it's so easy though like anyone yeah. you know if, if you're coming from a point where people are going to believe you then yeah you control anyone right that's but then you're just uh taking someone's trust and shitting yeah. on it because yeah. next time and that's next why. time they say they found a dragon we're like you know what iceland well you're full of shit you ever heard of the boy that cried yeah. wolf and, and that's exactly it and that that comes with any supernatural or unexplained a joke stuff with the whole thing. it makes it makes it difficult to you know basically track down what do you think of the of other truth? dragon footage from china uh, looked a little too sharp, the dragon for me in, yeah. in consideration with the uh, background. Didn't like the dragon? Yeah, I, I thought it was great. Where would you get that footage of a dragon flying so amazing? I, I, I guarantee you it is basically a 3D animation. It's much like, have you ever seen the yeah, video? It's a little cartoony. Yeah. Have you ever seen the video where the eagle comes in, picks up the baby and then drops it? No. Yeah. It, it's fantastic footage. I mean, yeah, animation is. They must have got the footage of the eagle from a real eagle. I'm guessing that picking up a baby wasn't real, but the footage from the eagle that it was real, no? Uh, how like they, to make animation video of, like, even the best animation movies out there that, anim like, that do dragons, it doesn't, you know, it's not fucking real. When you're looking at it, you're like, yeah, it's fucking Right. Like, but you, I mean, if you put Hobbit, stuff does at the a dragon distance. look fucking real for you? No, but that's all close up. And when you put stuff at a distance, it changes things again, right? I mean, if you're looking at the hard, hard details of things, that's when things become evident. But when you put things off in the distance, like, tends to be the way that people do things when they spot something or find something it's 50 fucking miles away so you can't see those small details then it's harder to number one know if it's actual footage yeah. or if it's faked well, the so, best thing about that footage for me is where it's where at least where they took it or pretended to take it because yeah. that's so like where you would find something little dragon like that probably possibly live and not be seen because they're in the middle of nowhere in the middle of China, right. like in some yeah. lost mountains. And if you know anything about China, you know, a lot of China's outbacks actually forbidden to go to yeah. by the government. And a lot of people think that they have over 19, 20 different pyramids. And if you look at them on Google Earth or do your own little research on China in their outback, just random places, they have groups of hills that, have, that apparently... One of the, I don't know what they call them, king, president, whatever they have in China. Yeah. I'm not too sure what it's called. I sound like an idiot. But um, he commissioned them grow plants all over these things. Yeah. And they were hiding something. Yeah. So it's, it's like Mongolia. If you look at... They've got at a lot of history there that they don't want people knowing about for some yeah. reason. A lot of people think they found some stuff there maybe or, or, or something along that nature. But they have a lot of secrets, China. They're, they're, they're yeah. uh, in, in with their history and their... And their yeah. Mongolia has a similar thing. Attila the Hun, which everybody knows about from history, who was, you know, sort yeah. of a brutal ruler. And they have never found his remains. They believe that they know where it is. Yeah. But again, the same sort of thing. It is forbidden to go into that land. There are mounds, pyramids that are basically grassed over. And it's that the, they believe that the remains are there, but you're not allowed to yeah. go in there. And even all. in modern China, like, they're yeah. just like, no. And, and they, they don't even admit that these hills exist. Yeah. And clearly they do. Yeah. So there's a lot of mystery, mystery there. So you never Lots know. Lots of stuff what, that we don't know. You know still if in if this there's world. lands where you can't go and visit, then there's going to be stuff that you've never seen before, possibly. Yeah. You know, they found recently found that ecosystem inside of a crater that was formed by a volcano somewhere in Papua New Guinea. And they found an ecosystem inside that had existed without the outside world for 
thousands of years. Yeah. So there's technically plants and animals in there that don't exist outside of the crater and they only exist inside yeah. the crater, which is crazy. They yeah. think they found over 110 different species of animal, plant, and insect. There you go. And Lots that, to you learn can watch in the world. That the doc, uh, document, that's on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. It's like three episodes long. It's brilliant. I watched it. Yeah. But um, there's always things out there that we don't know. There's always about. something new. I believe. There you go. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. Dragons are real. Peace. See ya.